In today's video, we're going to be taking this chopping board and giving it a new lease on life, turning it from this into this. Let's get into it. This chopping board really needs cleaning up, especially these recessed handles that it came with. They gather water and it makes it hard to dry, so they've gotten really gunky over time. These handles have got to go. The surface of the board is also marred from plenty of usage, so I'm going to sand it all down and refinish the whole board. The first thing we're going to do is cut off these handles and all the cracks to go with it. Here I'm measuring the depth of the handle and setting up a table saw to make a 1 inch cut into the board. Next step is to sand down the worst of the top layer of the board. I used 80 grit for this uh, and what came off wasn't great. The sand disc got clogged up with what I hope is wax from when I last tried to treat this board. Either way, 80 grit wasn't getting me anywhere so with a fresh disc of 50 grit, we were rolling. I quite like this before and after shot, the difference is already amazing. Another hidden feature this board came with is the ability to break dance on request. This is great for parties but terrible for cutting food so I found the high spot in the base and sanded it out so that the board would stop spinning. And there's nothing stopping you using rubber feet here instead. After taking all the fun out of the board I needed to put the handles back on for me to pick up the board and move it around. I decided to go for these 45 degree chamfers so I routed off the corners with the router and found out that the depth wasn't quite enough, the board was still hard to grip. So let's give that another go, this time with a bigger bit. These passes were leaving some serious burns in the wood. I didn't know if this was because of the wood, because of my cheap router bits, the router speed or roll 3. I tried up in the RPM on the router and that seemed to do the trick. And look how easy it is to pick up now. Groundbreaking stuff. Those burns need to come off, so here I'm taking my sanding stick and just going at it. And it turns out that wasn't super useful, so I upgraded to a sanding bigger stick. I got most of the burns off, but I decided to leave some on. I find the look quite appealing. And with all that sorted, it's time to raise up the grain of the board for a final sanding pass. Here, I'm just rubbing some tap water onto the wood and leaving it to dry to get the wood grain to stand out some more. Once this stood up grain is sanded off, it'll leave a lovely smooth finish. I left it to dry for 20 to 30 minutes before coming back and giving it a final once over with 120 grit sandpaper. I figured I didn't need to go higher because it's a chopping board at the end of the day. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the finish. A moment of silence while we admire the scene. Okay, with that out of the way, I'm using food grade mineral oil to finish the board. This board was quite thirsty, I mean watch the bottom left corner, and it will require several coats. Off camera I added about 4 coats in total, check in every hour to see how tacky the surface was, if it was dry I would add more oil. Once it was still a bit damp, I left it overnight, gave it a final layer the next day. Once that final layer had dried, I wiped off the excess and called it a day. I'm very pleased with how this turned out, and I'm definitely going to be making my own chopping boards in the future. If you're interested in that, or have enjoyed what you've seen so far, then please remember to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel, it helps immensely. So, your turn. Are you going to give this a try with your own chopping boards? Do you have any tips or tricks for doing this that you'd like to share? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, take it easy, and I'll see you next time.